morning and welcome to Children in Worship. We're delighted that you all are here with us today. Looks like we may have a snowy uh, weekend, so maybe you all can get in some good snow time this weekend. Let's see if we can greet each other this morning. The Lord be with you and also with you. That's our greeting, just like we use greetings out in big church in the sanctuary. So today, I think for a song, I ran across one that we haven't done for a while. You are my sunshine. And I'm going to show you the signs for that this morning. Okay. Sunshine is draw the sun and the rays come down. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. They go back and forth. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. Okay, let's try that. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. Okay, I hope you all can practice on that this week. I know that all of you all bring a lot of sunshine to your families. So let's see if we can practice that one this week. Another one we had done some time ago was Jesus taught us how to pray to God, our Father, every day, morning, noon, and nighttime, too. We can pray, and so can you. And then it's, yes, we can pray. Yes, we can pray. Yes, we can pray to God throughout the day. So let's try that. It's to the tune of Jesus Loves Me. Jesus taught us how to pray to God our Father every day, morning, noon, and nighttime too. We can pray and so can you. Yes, we can pray. Yes, we can pray. Yes, we can pray to God throughout the day. So that's two songs for you guys to work on this week. So let's prepare ourselves <coughs> for our story this morning. We want to make our bodies still and quiet. And we get in that very special place for be still and know. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. This morning, our story is a parable. And we know that our parables come in gold boxes because they're special gifts from God. And all the parables have a lid on them. So let's see what's in our parable box today. And we have a whole shelf full of parables in our room. These are such special gifts because nobody can ever take them away from us. We will carry them in our hearts. And today, our parable is the parable of the ten bridesmaids. And this is one that we have not done before. And in this story today, we are going to be talking about the bridesmaids. They're having a very special wedding. And they will be using lamps. And I brought one of the lamps that I had from home to show you. Because our lamps, all, and our candles, all have a wick that we light. Okay? And that's what makes our light. 
This wick is just a wound um, tight piece of cotton. And that candle will burn as long as the wick is there and we have plenty of oxygen for it, okay? In Jesus' time, they used lamps. And the lamps were very similar to this, not quite as elaborate as this. But you have a wick that goes down in the oil. And they used olive oil in the bottom. And then they trimmed. You'll find in the story, they say we trim the wick. They took some scissors and they trimmed off the top of the wick. And see, so you can raise and lower this wick. Okay? And the cotton wick absorbs the oil, and that's what burns. So we could, and I don't get it too high. This is some old oil that I had. We used to use these when the power went out. It was always handy to have. Okay. Then we turn it down to get whatever level of light that we needed. So this is very similar now to what we're using in our story today. And we'll see if that will burn for a little while. This oil is a little bit old, but we will see how that does. So let's listen to the uh, story of the parable of the bridesmaids. And this is found in the book of Matthew. And look how beautifully dressed all the bridesmaids are. Bridesmaids are special people that help with the weddings. They help with the bride. And they process or they come in a parade, a line down the aisle to where the wedding, where the groom and the bride are standing. And they help the bride. There was going to be a wedding. Ten girls had been asked to be bridesmaids. They were all excited because a wedding was more fun than anything they could imagine. And you see one of the girls here has a tambourine. And they would tamp and play on their tambourine as they were getting ready and in the procession for the wedding. The wedding was going to be at night. First, the bridegroom would go to the house of the bride, and then there would be a procession to the place where they would be a wonderful party and feast. The bridesmaids were supposed to meet the bridegroom when he arrived, and then um, be in the procession with their lamps. So you see they have their torches because they didn't have electricity back in Jesus' time. They had to use the lamps and the torches, similar to the tiki torches we have. And you see the little girl playing her tambourine. We have a little drum, some body playing like a wooden flute or a lute. And see how they're holding all of their lamps for light. And we have the bridegroom and the bride. So this was going to be a night wedding. Now, five of these bridesmaids were very sensible girls. They carefully got ready for the wedding and made sure that they had enough for their lamps, enough oil in their lamps. So you see they're taking the pitcher and they're pouring the oil into their lamps. Now, five of the bridesmaids did that. They were very sensible. The other five bridesmaids were silly. They went to the wedding without even looking to see if they had any oil in their lamps. So you see them there on the path. And they didn't even stop to check to see if there was any oil in their lamps at all. Finally, they got to the town where the wedding was to be. The bridegroom had not yet arrived, and the bridesmaids settled down to wait for him. 
They were so tired from their long walk that they went to sleep. So they went to town, and then they were so tired that they laid down and they took a nap. At midnight, there was shouting in the street. The bridegroom is here. Bring the lamps. Bring the lamps. The bridegroom is here. Now, this was at midnight, so this was really a late wedding. They had gone only a little way when five of these lamps went out. The five silly bridesmaids cried out to the other five, Our lamps are out of oil. Give us some of yours. Okay. It's kind of like going on a trip and not having enough gas in the car. But the sensible bridesmaid said, No. Then we might run out. You'll just have to go buy your own oil. Now remember, it's midnight. It's the middle of the night. And these girls were not going to share their oil. Of course, it was late that all the shops were closed. The five silly bridesmaids ran to the shop that sold oil and they <coughs> banged on the door to get the shopkeeper up. And they cried until the man finally opened his shop and sold them some oil. But it took a very long time. The silly bridesmaids filled their lamps, lit them, and rushed back to the wedding. But the procession was all over. They were too late. The door to the bridegroom's house was closed and locked. Everyone was inside having such a fine, noisy time at the party that they couldn't hear the silly bridesmaids weeping and crying and banging on the door to let them in. I bet they had a long trip to the shop to get the oil and then all the way back. Jesus said that this story is like the kingdom of God. We must always be prepared for anything that God wants us to do. And I can remember years ago when we read this story and Zachary saying, you've got to be prepared. And that's a wonderful parable that Jesus has given us today in our collection of parables. So we give thanks to God for the reading and, and the wonderful stories that, that God has given to us. So now we're going to read a little bit of scripture. And our scripture today comes from the book of Matthew. And we're going to light the Christ candle. And we always like to use our Christ candle when we're reading from the Bible. And this is the 25th chapter of Matthew. Matthew is one of the four Gospels. When the end comes, the kingdom of heaven will be like ten bridesmaids. They took their oil lamps and went to meet the groom. Five of them were foolish and five were wise. The foolish bridesmaids took their lamps, but they didn't take any extra oil. The wise bridesmaids, however, took along extra oil for their lamps. And since the groom was late, all the bridesmaids became drowsy and fell asleep. At midnight, somebody shouted, The groom is here! Come to meet him! Then all the bridesmaids woke up and they got their lamps ready. The foolish one said to the wise one, Give us some of your oil. Our lamps are going out. 
But the wise bridesmaids replied, we can't do that. There won't be enough for both of us. Go find somebody to sell you some oil. While they were buying oil, the groom arrived. The bridesmaids who were ready went with him into the wedding hall, and the door was shut. Later, the other bridesmaids arrived and said, Sir, sir, open the door. But he answered them, I don't even know who you are. So stay awake, because you do not know the day or the hour. And we give thanks to God for the reading of his word today. Now, as we have our prayer today, I will read from our children's psalm book, and today it is Psalm 150. Everybody sing praises to God. Let's praise God with guitars and drums and trumpets, or tap your feet and dance. Alleluia. And look at the illustration with playing the drums. So we want to give praises to God today. So let's bow our head for a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, we're so grateful for this day and for the stories that you have given us. And we ask that you will help us to always be prepared to do whatever it is that you are calling us to do. And we pray that this week that maybe we can be helpful to someone else. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now the singer benediction. Go now in peace. Go now in peace. May the love of God surround you everywhere, everywhere you may go. And we will see you folks next week. Now the light that was in one time and one place is now in all times, in all places. May the peace of Christ be with you.